as if he was sitting with me next to me right now. I want you to fill him up with your love and your light through me, through my heart. God, open my heart to your love. Open my heart chakra to your love and allow me to feel you pour through me as a pure beam of light energy. restriction from me that would prevent me from being the best channel that I could be for you all, for you and your world. Remove from me anything that is hindering inside of me, that is preventing me from knowing myself in all that I see and all that I do. Allow me to know myself in my choices. Allow me to know myself in my decisions. Allow me to know myself in my actions. Allow me to know myself in my thoughts. Allow me to know myself in my consciousness. Allow me to know myself as light. Allow me to know myself as a subtle vibration. Allow me to know myself as an eternal sound, an eternal vibration that resonates in a frequency that is of the octave that it can achieve at its present moment. God, I ask that you would send the angels below to lift me up, to help me ascend, to hold my hands and to pull me. I feel you now, my body emits light. I can feel every cell in my body become pure light energy. Lift me up. Allow me to know myself. Allow me to know my path. Allow me to see my path. And allow me to inspire others to find their path. And to know their truth. And to seek their truth. So that we may awaken. as anger toward anyone else around me, I am only expressing as fear. Fear that I did not get something I wanted. Fear that I should get something I want. Fear that you are not doing or moving the way that I think you should in the direction that I think you should. There are many fears. And they all play a role in moving us in a direction toward a lower vibration, a lower frequency, a lower resonance. It is everything negative we tell ourselves. That is the lower vibration that keeps us bound in fear. It keeps us in financial insecurity. It keeps us in relationships that are unhealthy. It keeps us in displeasure 
and discomfort and unknowing. Because once you know, you can always have joy and happiness and bliss and peace because it is always a choice. It has always been a choice. Once you slow yourselves down and realize that every choice you made got you to this moment, you are where you are because of who you are, not because of where you've been. Yes, you made choices because of the environment that you were in, but those choices reflect who you are. choice in this moment, in every moment of every day, which is the only truth we have. The present moment is the only moment we have. When we are faced with a choice, how do we respond? Do we reflect and respond, or do we react and allow our selfishness to take hold? our lower vibrations to take hold and keep us bound. And knowing our limitations, the structures that have been set forth, the power structures that have been placed before us, know how to keep us in our lower vibrations. We can easily choose to break their control. All we have to do is choose to see. For one day, for one day, we remain present, fully aware and present in the moment. We can be perfection. We all can be perfection. In a single moment in time, we can only be with God, with our eyes closed, with our senses off. We are one. We are perfect. And once we realize that that moment, that single moment of perfection, is the only moment of truth, because that is the moment that exists inside of all of us, we can go there at any moment and choose to feel, choose to express as life. I am life. joy and happiness. I am the world that I see before me because I chose the world that I see before me. I am still choosing the world I see before me. When will I stop? When will I realize that I have been reacting to a world that has been choosing me? When I stop and I remove myself from the present moment internally, I recognize the present moment and all of the possibilities of all of the choices. We have the ability to slow ourselves down open our mind's eye and view every possibility from our past, every possibility from our future, and every possibility as it is. And then we can choose to align to that version of ourselves. myself in the future. I know who I become. I have always known who I become. Who I have become has been a dictatorship, has been dictated to me by those in power. Or who I have given power to. Who I have said, you hold more power in my life than I do. You have control over me. You have the ability to make me feel worthy. 
You have the ability to make me feel pretty. You have the ability to make me feel intelligent. This is all false teaching. No one has the power to make you feel one way or the other. You tell yourself these things through what you interpret through the communication that we have with others. They value me. They do not value me. All is an, an untruth. You are valued. You are worthy. And once you realize that you have inherent worth in what you were born into, into this third dimensional state, you will soon realize that your brother across from you, who you have judged so harshly before, is no worse or nor better than you. He is just a soul, she is just a soul that has made choices that has got her or him to this point based on what they were told or what they were served from other people who were not yet awake. Who have you been listening to? Deeply, deeply reflect on who you have been listening to and ask yourself, are they spiritually awake? Or are they stuck in a vibration of fear? If they would have you believe that you are less than because of choices that you have made or will make, they are in false teaching. And they are trying to keep you in the constraint of fear and power and control. The chains have been broken. There have been many prophets that have come before, that have stood before, and have lifted up in their own vibration and have shown the way. We stop teaching, we start showing. <laughs>